Hey there, Angie Wagler. And Paul Wagler. For a rise now. And the two minute wake up call. Mm -hmm. Well, Angie, today's a special day. What is it? It is. Good Friday today. Good Friday. Mm -hmm. Well, we are at the beginning of a wonderful Easter weekend. And, uh, you know, we have uh, in front of us here a bunch of chocolate. Some there were some really good deals at the store. And we're just going to pile them all in this basket. What? I see this one's open, mm -hmm. honey. What yeah. have you done? <laughs> Yeah. And, uh, you know, I know for those of you who know me well, you're going to be like, wow, this is a big surprise. Paul has a lot of chocolate. Well, I know that's a big surprise, but I do love chocolate and so does Angie. Mm -hmm. So we, uh, we have availed ourselves of some great deals and we won't run out for a little while. You know, I noticed not long ago there was an advertisement and it says, coming soon, spring, Black Friday. And I thought, hmm, spring, Black Friday. Well, the only Black Friday, only Dark Friday, the only bad, bad Friday that there was in the spring that I can recall is what we refer to as Good Friday. And why is it good? Well, it's good because that today, Good Friday, as we know it, is the day that we remember Jesus' death on the cross when he um, was. Oh, look at the screen. You know, the screen, the screen went, just went black. Went hmm. black just I'm going to just put this basket back. And, uh, it's quite heavy. Yes. Oops, there we go. We've made a boo boo. Just uh, let it load again. We want this nice picture on. There we go. Okay, now we can continue. And so. So, Good Friday, we remember Jesus' death on the cross. And, you know, he, uh, he gave himself up as the perfect sacrifice for your sins and for mine so that we could be forgiven, we could be cleansed, we could be washed whiter than snow, as it tells us in Scripture. We could be restored into that relationship with God as our Father. And, you know, uh, I was thinking, Angie, how many times uh, uh, people refer to people like you and I or other followers of Jesus as they're the religious folk. And, and I'm like, oh, I don't really like that term religious because you know why? Religion is dead. There's no life in religion. You know, where there's life, there's life in Jesus. And why is there life? Because it's not about religion. It's about a relationship. You know, all other religions of the world is man's attempt to connect to God, man's attempt to find him and to to uh, to uh, pursue him and to, and to be in relationship with him. But you know, the beautiful thing about Christianity, which separates it from all other religions, is God made the first move. It's God's uh, God made the move to come looking for you and I. It says in Romans 5, 8, God, dem God demonstrates his love for us in this, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. So long before you and I ever made a move, made a decision that we wanted to follow Jesus, God made the first move. It kind of reminds me of the most familiar verse that uh, it was probably in the whole Bible, which I think we have to remember every day, but especially on Easter weekend, John three sixteen. What is that, Angie? For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. Some versions say everlasting life. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. You know, God so loved you and I that he gave Jesus. And, you know, Jesus was willing to go to that cross, just like that cross that uh, is on the picture in the screen behind us there, where, where Jesus hung on the cross and he endured an incredible uh, amount of suffering so that he could uh, make a way for you and I to be forgiven, to be cleansed, to be restored into that relationship. So the cross is the focus of Good Friday and uh, the cross is a focus of several messages that I have given at, at a few different churches. I've talked about the call of the cross, the cure of the cross, the case for the cross. And uh, those messages are on YouTube and we uh, encourage you to check them out. Yeah, in fact, we're going to have the links below that you can um, you can check them out by the links. And it is Friday. So um, this afternoon and this evening, we are on the radio in Brantford. That's right. FM 93.9 at 2 this afternoon. And at 10 o'clock tonight, you can get us at AM 1380. 
Um, and there's listen live links for that too. You don't have to actually tune it on a radio anymore. You can listen to it on your computer or your phone or your tablet. Yes, so, the, the um, beauty the, of the new technology, you don't have to be tuning in to the radio trying to find it. You can just click on the listen live links right. wherever you are. So the listen live links will be below too or just go to our website arisenow.ca and there's listen live buttons that you can click at uh, 2 and at 10. That's so right. you have to listen at those times. You can't. If you click the buttons at other times, you'll just get the radio and whatever's happening. The current, current programming yeah. of mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. but uh, And today uh, will be the message a message on the radio about the cross. The cross. And so we encourage you to check those out. Let's remember what Jesus did and give thanks uh, for his, his sacrifice, his suffering, and uh, the, the benefit that you and I can have because of that. We are so grateful. We are so thankful. And then on Sunday, we get to celebrate his resurrection where he conquered death. So Easter weekend is so special. And uh, we just invite you to join us in this time of remembering and celebrating uh, what Jesus had did and how he then conquered death through his resurrection. Amen. Right so on. until we meet again, stay awake and stay alert.